limb isolation, single strokes, and double strokes combined. Um, this is something I've been doing for a long time. Um, basically, I really enjoy the limb isolation with the double strokes. So, right, um, it's the same note rate. And you're just teaching your body to jump from one-handed into, du into double strokes. And the interesting thing is because that's where the double stroke is going to start. So click at 130. Here we go. Now, I'm going to start it with single strokes. And then I'm going to graduate. And then I'm going to move into double strokes. Follow along, if you feel. And one, two, single strokes. Same note rate, right hand only. Right hand only. Right hand only. Left lead. Left hand only. Left hand only. Oops, pinky came out. Left hand only. This time we're going with the double strokes. Right hand only. Left. Left lead. Left. Double strokes. Whoopsie daisy. Left. Slowing that down by 10 BPM. A little more manageable. Double strokes. Oops. And left. Single strokes. So I feel like the idea from going from, you know, switching the two-hand note rate into a single-handed note rate, that it's kind of one of those things where, like, in something like death metal or in something like even like thrash metal, that ride cymbal or that snare drum is always going to be going. You always want that going. That's your kind of your four on the four... Four on the floor, ACDC rock beat is that, mm, those fast 16ths. Um, and just to be able to develop in and out of those, to be able to come in again, coming in and out of these techniques and dealing with your, your grip changing, depending on what you're doing. I was going from double strokes, <laughs> double strokes into like really kind of gunning in and like tightening up more on this. Do you want to know how you can watch this full lesson? Just sign up at www.drumtechniqueacademy.net. Drumming, as you know, is a lot like gravity. All it takes is a little push.